The heaviest rain is now headed to New England. CBS News correspondent Seth Doan is there to begin our coverage this morning in Boston, where it is a very windy morning. Good morning, Seth. That's right, Maggie. The wind really picked up overnight, and as this powerful storm continues to push north, much of the rain and heavy wind will be over New England today. And folks here are really paying attention to this storm, which walloped points south. The storm is blamed for four deaths in North Carolina. A young couple was killed along with their infant daughter when their car ran off a rain-slicked highway and plowed into a watery ditch. Their twin three-year-old boys were pulled out alive, but one died a short time later. Residents in Craven County used canoes to rescue neighbors stranded in their homes by the high water. So just keep your fingers crossed that it doesn't come in, because when it decides to come in, there's not much you can do. Ponds and lakes overflowed in Carolina Beach as heavy winds of up to 60 miles per hour downed trees and power lines. It's crazy. I've never seen the water come up like this before. <laughs> it's just nuts. The storm has dropped a record 21 inches of rain in just five days, exceeding Hurricane Floyd's downpour from 1999. I think rain-wise, it is extraordinary. I mean, we, we, this doesn't happen that often. As the system moved north, two Maryland commuter buses collided as sheets of rain fell, injuring 26 people. There were train and plane delays along the Boston to Washington corridor, and tornado watches extended from the Outer Banks to New Jersey. And now forecasters are warning about the danger of flash floods as heavy winds and high rains enter this region. And of course, everyone will be paying attention to this, making the morning commute, which could be uh, quite dangerous uh, for many. Maggie? Seth Thone in Boston, thank you.